It is 8.05 on Friday morning and I thought I would do a day in the life video for you today. Um, I still have morning voice. <laughs> I just woke up Timothy. Um, him and Justin are getting up earlier in the mornings, getting ready to start college and stuff like that this coming week, Monday. So that all starts Monday. But okay, I need coffee, so let's make some coffee. My husband and I, we, um, I make his coffee for him at night, the night before, and then he makes, he gets the um, coffee pot ready for me in the morning, <laughs> if he has time, so, which is so sweet. We can do little things for each other, it's really good, okay. Let's go open the curtains, it's stuck in here. I always open the curtains and look for like tarantulas out there because last year um, that we had like, I think three tarantulas, <clears throat> one or two was at our door, one was in our front yard. And then another one, which was a fourth, was in our backyard. So every morning at this time of year, I always open the windows and look for, or the curtains and look for tarantulas to make sure they're not trying to come in our door. Yikes. Okay, don't mind my mess of a kitchen. I have a little bit of dishes and stuff to do from last night because we were so busy last night that, um, Yesterday was grocery shopping and stuff, and we were so busy, I, I didn't even get to all the dishes and stuff like that to clean up after dinner. Some nights I just don't, so I'm going to use my little Pooh Bear cup. I got this at the Disney store years ago, and it's just like the yellow is like sunshine and happiness to me. I just love it. Yeah, you can see there's a dirty pan. Uh, last night for dinner we had um, the raviolis with meat in them. And, um, <laughs> excuse me, and um, Alfredo sauce on top with some garlic toast. So I just made it all on the stove. It was really good. Sometimes coffee pots take forever, don't they? Ours is a bun coffee pot, but um, we have hard water out here, so sometimes the hard water slows it down. Yeah, almost done. <laughs> Do you drink coffee? or do you drink something else in the morning? Okay, I'm gonna start my phone and get it going because I always shut my phone off at night. And then I'm gonna go sit in the living room. So why don't you come in the living room with me and visit for a little bit while we drink coffee or whatever you drink. Grab it, come on, sit with me. As I sit here having coffee and stuff in the morning, I always open up my phone and in my email, I get a daily devotion from a devotion company that's called Our Daily Bread. And I know you can get them in book form too, but I choose to get them in um, through my email. So I get it every single day. So first thing in the morning, I will open up my, as soon as I sit down, I open up my devotion. It, they're, they're really good. Um, my mom used to read us, we used to have devotions together. Uh, me and my mom and my sister and um, in the mornings and it's something that has always just stuck with me to have morning devotions um, and it's just something small and it just gives you something to think about I really like it if you're interested you can get them sent to your email every day and then like I said you don't even have to read it you can push play and it will read it to you like in the car or you know as you're whatever you're doing in the morning as you're doing stuff in the morning so but yeah I really like it Okay, I was going to ask you, uh, have you watched Chesapeake Shores on Hallmark? It just started last week, and we set it up. I had my husband set it up, and wow. that I won't give anything away in case you haven't seen it, but check it out. Now, I haven't read the books, so I'm, I don't compare it with the books because I haven't read the books, but just as a show alone... It blew me away. The pilot, it was the pilot that they had played. And if you haven't seen it, you might be able to catch the recording of it, you know, and, and record it and then set up for the series. That's what I did. 
It is good. There is so many twists and turns to it. Um, it has a lot. You really have to watch it because it has a lot of stuff leading into the story in just that pilot part of it, of the, the very first. It is so good, and it's decent. There's Because I always worry about, like, nudity and stuff like that because I don't want to see that stuff. But Hallmark did a really good job. It's so far, it's a clean, it's clean series. And I'm looking very forward to the next one. It was really, really good. And it leaves you hanging. And at the end, it gave you little clips of what's to come for the um, season that they're doing the season on. So I really like that. But I liked um, Cedar Cove, too. And I guess they're not playing Cedar Cove anymore. But I was watching Cedar Cove. And um, when we had moved from Michigan to Texas, I lost track of it. And so I never really picked it back up. But that was a good one, too. But um, this Ch Chesapeake Shores is so good. I am excited. I hope that it keeps going this strong, you know, to be this good. And that it doesn't, you know, kind of slow down and let me down after a while. You know how sometimes shows will do that. But it's something new, and I love that. I love that about fall is the shows start and... We go through the new shows and we're like, yes, no, yes, no. <laughs> Some of them were like, yeah, we love it. And then all of a sudden they just cancel it. That's a bummer. That's a bummer when it happens. Anyway, yeah, if you haven't checked it out, check out Chesapeake Shores. It's a good one, I think. And then let me know what you think because I would love to know what you think of it too. It was, it was good. I, I'm impressed. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the next one. And then um, let me see. Today... I am going to be around the house. Today I've got to do dishes, i got to wash towels, and do stuff like that. Today's, I don't know if I mentioned, today's Friday, so I'm getting ready for the weekend. We don't really have plans for the weekend. They're having a um, car show here at the, where we live in our neighborhood. And then, um, a couple weeks ago, I got jury duty papers. So Monday I have to call in for jury duty to see if I have jury duty, and I am really hoping that I don't. I have served on jury duty before, and that's great. Well, I served in Michigan. But I wish that they just wouldn't, I guess I wish that it wasn't the timing that it is. Because um, college starts, we have you know, a, only two, you know, two vehicles. So Justin's going to take one because of his hours are crashing, you know, going against Timmy, Tim's hours. And so we're going to have no vehicles. And, oh my goodness. It's a little stressful. Jason's getting a ride with a coworker to work, which is really nice. That helps tremendously. But I'm just really hoping right now at this time that we, that they don't need me for jury. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if they do, We'll work it out. We always do figure it out. But it just adds more stress on for when your week is starting out with college and stuff anyway. And that's stressful anyway. Getting everybody on a schedule. We'll see how that goes. So anyway, this weekend I need to go make sure I know where the courthouse is exactly. I mean, I know where it's at, but I have never really went to the courthouse. So I'm going to go see where it is exactly and um, where I would park because I want to know where I would park and stuff like that just in case I do get called into jury duty. I think that's basically all we're doing. I don't know. We might end up going out and doing shop kicks. If I have not put that video up about what we're doing for the holidays, I will get it up shortly after this video because um, me and Jay already have the $50 each off of shop kicks. I'm going to work on, I've got to get a video uploaded for today, and it's actually going to be the lipstick haul, I believe, is going to be today. So i got to get that uploaded, and I'm going to continue to drink my coffee, and then I will keep checking in with you throughout the day on things that I do around here. Hello. <laughs> I am in the laundry room, and I am putting some towels in the washer. I the baskets behind the door so you're gonna see me go back and forth loading the washer yeah this is a constant thing is towels all right who else does housework in their pajamas besides me 
because I'm always doing housework in my pajamas. Like before I get dressed and ready for the day, I'm always like doing stuff. Do you do that? I wash my towels on hot. Towels are disgusting <laughs> to me <laughs> and Jeremy. So I always put them on hot. I put um, colored bleach in it because I have towels that not all my towels are white. right now at like 20 after 9 in the morning it's like 9 20 9 18 and it is going to be 90 today and it looks like there's going to be I do this on an app <laughs> um, thunderstorms this afternoon maybe that'd be good we always need rain out here definitely so okay so it looks like shorts and a t-shirt or something today so I had to show you we always have bunnies in our front yard. Okay, I figured I would show you what I'm wearing today. I took a shower, washed my hair. There we go. I braided it and tucked it back into my hair for today. And um, put a little bit of makeup on and stuff like that. Okay, so I have all my clothes that I'm wearing today are just, they're old. They just are. So I have this little pink top on and years ago, my sister gave me this pink top years ago. And then years ago I got a, um, this is from Christopher and Banks, it has a little bit of lace on it, a uh, tank top and I put it underneath of this shirt. And then I have these little shorts on from, honestly I don't even remember where I got them from. <laughs> and I changed my toenail polish today mint sprint on by Sally Hansen and I changed it from Essie's clam bake so this is what I'm wearing today and now I'm going to go get some lunch okay for lunch I was going to have leftover lasagna but my youngest ate it on me so I'm not gonna have leftover lasagna so I went and was looking in the freezer and I found um, White Castle Burgers. Okay, so um, I microwaved the little White Castle Burgers. These are hot. Woohoo! Woo, ma! Those are hot. Okay, and then um, they come out like that. And they have little onions and cheese and stuff on them, like I was telling you. Yowchie, mama, these are hot. See this? If you can see the steam, I don't know. So then you separate them. And then on the side, I'm going to have some um, beer nuts bar mix. So good. We, I found this at Walmart. And um, yum. So I'm just going to have a little scoop of this. I'll eat my lunch. And I'll be back later. Okay. One of the things I'm going to do is make my husband one of his favorite desserts for the weekend. And it is the Reese's no bake dessert bar mix okay this is it all assembled it's got and um, the crust is like a um cookie crust Ooh, there it goes has like a cookie crust and then the middle has a peanut butter layer of um the middle and then the top you put chocolate over the top of it you cover it and you refrigerate it and it comes with its own little pan Okay, wow, these just came from UPS. They're actually really, really light. There's three of them. And it must be something for my husband for work. And apparently I have forgotten what exactly, unless he forgot to tell me. So we'll say he forgot to tell me, okay? Yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> to be outside but she wants somebody to be outside with her sometimes in the afternoons so I try to get all my work done and stuff like that and then I have um, outside time with her so sometimes she'll play in the sprinkler or the hose and um, 
sometimes she just lays around and sleeps in the shade. It's hot today, so we might let her play in the hose for a little bit. Um, it was supposed to be, I think, in the night. It was 90 something, 90 today, but the um, heat today is actually quite warm here. So, and then later on, well, they were saying that we were going to get thunderstorms around four. I think I said earlier, but they switched it to like eight o'clock, and then they're supposed to go all night long. So. I don't know, which is fine with me because rain at night is better than during the day because then we get to play outside during the day. So this is my back patio and I will show you around a little bit. Okay, so this is our back door. That's the chair where I sit. And then we stack the chairs in the corner here. We have a smoker and then let me see, that right there is a game that we play. It's ladder ball with little footballs. It's a Michigan Wolverine one because we are huge Michigan Wolverine fans. So that's for charcoal, behind it is for charcoal and um, a smoker. And then that is our little grill. We just got that this year and I love it. It's just the right size for the four of us. And then this is our table right now, but yeah, it's missing, oh, and that's my phone. <laughs> it's missing a panel out of it because um, last year we had a really bad storm and the storm blew the table over and broke one of the panels. This is our backyard, our little tree. Let me show you, that's our neighbor's house, okay. All right, that, remember I keep telling you that they're doing developments here? Well, that's two new houses behind us. And then there's a whole nother road behind us yet that they're working on. Roofs of houses, but there's a whole nother road back there yet that they're working on. And this is our little project. It's We are trying to save this tree. We believe this is a holly bush. And um, we found it. And my husband replanted it, and if you, I don't know if I can get you close enough. Let me see. On the very bottom, I think you can see it. There is leaves growing on the very bottom of it. So we're really hoping we can get it to come back. Okay, and then that's the corner of our backyard. There's our hose and all that. It's another house and they will be building directly behind us. They have not yet, and two houses will actually go directly behind us, and they have not started that yet. Okay, so I thought I'd bring you out here and show you our little patio area and our backyard and a little bit of our neighborhood kind of around where we're at. Okay, tonight for dinner, let's see, it's Friday night, and usually on the weekends we eat out, but, <laughs> Tonight and tomorrow night, so Friday and Saturday, we're not going to eat out. Sunday, we will eat out. Um, but I have some things that we need to eat up, like lettuce and green pepper and stuff like that. So I decided to have nachos tonight. Yum. With all the fixings. Um, it is uh, almost 4 o'clock, so my husband will be getting out of work soon. And he is his work is about an hour away so he gets home around five and um, we eat around then tomorrow night we are having um buffalo chicken wings but instead of the chicken wings i got the drumettes so we're going to do that the boys love to watch ufc fighting on television and they have an event going on so i was like hey how about if i make you know, the buffalo style wings for you, and we'll have a whole bunch of goodies and like pretzels and cheese and all that stuff. So, and they were pretty excited about that. So I'm gonna make it um, like if they would've went to Buffalo Wild Wings, but we're gonna do it here at home. Then they can um, watch television here, the UFC fighting, and have all the goodies that would normally be at Buffalo Wild Wings, but homemade. So, okay, I am going to start chopping onions and green pepper and, oh, I was gonna show you um, our nachos, what we do for our nachos is we do a Fiesta nacho cheese soup. It's in the Campbell's in the soup aisle. And um, I add a little bit of milk to this to make it creamy, I guess. 
and then this is what we use for cheese on the top of it. And then um, this time I'm going to use the Taco Bell brand seasoning. And I use the traditional um, Old El Paso refried beans and um, when the meat is almost done, I add the beans in. So then the beans and meat are together and those go on top of the nachos. So Justin, my oldest, does not like it that way. <laughs> so he doesn't get beans and stuff. He, I just take the taco meat out and put his in another pan and um, his is done. And then mine, Tim's and Jay's, I add the beans and then we do the nacho cheese. And Justin does shredded cheddar on top of his. But we are gonna do, let's see, um, green pepper, onions, tomato, sour cream, guacamole, black olives. Yeah, we're gonna have nacho supreme yumminess for a Friday night. I think that's a good one, so. Okay, let's start chopping onions and green peppers. I just wanted to say, please don't judge my slicing skills. <laughs> when I slice, oh my, when I slice fruits and vegetables, um, I make my husband nervous, but I know what I'm doing and I don't, I mean, I have cut myself. Yeah, but I'm not a professional. So, and I get the job done, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to tell you that I know it's kind of scary probably watching me, but it's how I do it, so don't judge me. <laughs> okay, um, now that I sliced all that stuff up, I am going to grab the hamburger and I'm going to start on the hamburger. Okay, for this I use one pound of hamburger and we buy it in a bigger package and then split it up and freeze it. But figured I would just chat with you for a little bit while I'm cooking. It's always nice to kind of talk a little bit while you're cooking. I love hanging out in the kitchen, don't you? I love having you here in the kitchen with me. It's a lot of fun. Putting some salt and pepper in it in the burger. And I'm going to do a little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of onion powder is how I do mine. And then the taco seasoning on top of that, of course, but I do fresh pepper through a um, pepper grinder, pepper mill. Good stuff that way. I've really enjoyed you coming and hanging out with me today. Seeing how, you know, my day goes sometimes. Not always. <laughs> but at least this Friday it was like that. That was nice. Next week it'll be a little more hectic, so. With school starting. All right, I'm gonna to continue to cook dinner and get it ready for my family. And I just wanted to tell you, I really appreciate you um, watching my videos and um, coming to my channel and checking things out. And I wanna ask you, would you please hit that subscribe button and also hit that like button. I would really appreciate it so that I know that you like the video. Um, and they also have a notification button too. It looks like a bell. And if you hit that, as soon as I put a video out, it will come into your email if you want to do that too. So, all right, what are you having this weekend for dinners? Are you, you know, do you eat out on weekends or? I'm curious. Um, let me know in the comments below or anything that I've said today. Uh, if you have a question about anything, comment below and I would love to answer you and get back with you on that. So. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up because my husband for the rest of the evening, it will be, um, he'll come home from work. We all sit at the table, we eat our dinner, we catch up on our day, and then whatever he, just, we, not he, <laughs> whatever we decide to do, whether it be watching movies or shows or going out and doing something um, like shop kicks or something, we're kind of addicted to shop kicks. I don't know. 
<laughs> or just relax and we like to do that too. Play around on the computer and visit. We really like to just visit. So, okay. Thank you so much for coming along today and I will talk to you later. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful weekend. Bye.